Xcode 14. That's good. It's very good. Let's take a look at seven killer new features. Starting out nice and simple, we can now copy and paste assets straight into the asset catalog library. So this is super nice because you don't have to drag and drop from your desktop or from Finder all the time and deal with managing multiple windows. Uh, and you can also copy an image straight from a web page and paste it in without ever having to save it anywhere on your computer, which is pretty sweet. We're developers, we like cutting down on steps, right? Number two is what we're calling sticky headers. So I'm at the top of a file right now and as I start to scroll, see that at the top? Pretty nice, huh? So it basically pins the class or struct name as well as whatever method or property is currently in view. So this gives a really nice boost to your overall spatial awareness. A lot of times you're jumping between files and more often than not, you're gonna be in the middle of a file and not at the very top. And this is the kind of feature that I would not have thought of to ask for on my own, but now that I see it, it just makes so much sense. But if for some reason you don't like this, you can toggle this off in preferences in the text editing tab right here where it says code structure when scrolling. Before we get to number three, I do wanna point out that you will need Mac OS Monterey 12.4 or later to be able to run Xcode 14. But one really cool thing about the download process is that Xcode 14 doesn't automatically include Apple Watch and Apple TV platform support by default. So the overall size of the download is about half of what it typically is on Xcode 13 or earlier. So if you're like me and you don't have a ton of free storage space on your computer, or you just don't do a whole lot of Apple Watch or Apple TV development, then this is gonna make your life a whole lot better. Number three is the new shorthand syntax for optional unwrapping. So we all know the old way of optional unwrapping like this, but with this new syntactic sugar, we can actually get rid of the equals number in this case, and just say if let number, and it will do the exact same thing. This is technically a feature of Swift 5.7, but this would only be available on Xcode 14. But this is one I'll be using a ton because I think it looks really clean and I think you'll get used to it pretty quick. For number four, we have SF symbols are now in the library. So now you don't always have to pull up the dedicated SF symbols Mac app and check this out. You can even drag and drop them into a view and it auto completes and the code appears right in the preview. Obviously the SF symbols app has some more functionality to it when it comes to customizing or coloring symbols, but this is just really nice to have because you can quickly search what symbols are available and then quickly add them to your project. Number five, we have revamped previews. You'll notice here that there's a new UI and most notably this button at the bottom kind of looks like the control center uh, and it gives you some options of how you can customize the canvas on the preview. So you'll see that we have color scheme, so we can go between light and dark, orientation, and dynamic type. And secondly, we can now quickly view all variations of these three categories, just like this. This is really nice because before you'd have to come down here and kind of customize this preview provider to pull off the same effect. But now you can just quickly toggle back and forth like this. Number six, we have simulators now will support remote push notifications. So. This was never an option before you would always need to have an actual physical device to test out any sort of remote notification. So this is gonna make things a lot more convenient. Now, I'm not gonna demo this for you, but here it is in Apple's release notes, so you know you can trust it. And finally, number seven, which maybe has had the most positive response of all, is you now only need a single app icon asset. So this is really nice because you used to have to resize your icon to all these different uh, resolutions, whereas now you can do single size. Now you can take a single 1024 by 1024 asset, drop it in or paste it in, see feature number one, and Xcode will handle the rest for you. There are some Mac apps out there which make it a lot easier to convert um, a single asset into all the required sizes, but you still did have to drag and drop each one into the right spot. So overall, this is gonna be a big time saver. So there you have it. Hopefully this has given you a good starting point with Xcode 14, but keep in mind that there's a lot more in there that you can discover on your own. Currently Xcode 14 is in developer beta, which means you will need an active Apple developer license in order to have access to it. And if you wanna see what other cool benefits come with that license, you can check out this video here. Thank you as always for watching. Thank you Xcode team, and I'll see you next time.